Hey everyone, welcome back to Vintage Vagabond Vents. I'm Sue, also known as Mama Sue. Today I'm going to be unboxing this box full of vintage costume jewelry. All the items are going to be for sale. Uh, they will be $5 each. We're going to go head over to the light box so you can have a good view. First, I'm going to explain how we're going to do this. All of the jewelry is $5 each. If you want an item, write sold and put the item number. Example, sold number 12. The first to comment sold will win that item. Next, send an email to vintagevagabondvens at gmail.com. Include the following items. Email address that you would like the invoice sent to. Your YouTube name your actual name if different from your YouTube name, your full shipping address. Unsold items will remain available until Monday, June 21st. After that, we will consider the sale ended. We do charge shipping, and as the actual shipping cost, we combine shipping, and all of this information can be found in the description section of this video. Okay, let's get in this box and see what we have here. First, we have this pair of earrings. We got faux turquoise, blue rhinestones, and blue glass cabochons. They are post earrings and they are missing the post on the back, or well, the closure part. And they are going to be number one. Next we have uh, amber colored Aurora Borealis crystal and black rhinestone bracelet. It is an accordion style so it will fit adjust you know it's got an adjustable fit and that is going to be Number two. We have a brooch. This is a lady's face, sort of like a cameo, but it's all silver tone metal. There's the closure. And this is going to be number three. This is another brooch, it's gold tone with clear rhinestones. See, it's about the size of across my hand. And this brooch is going to be number four. And if you're interested in anything, just write sold and the number. These are all $5 each. This is a clear rhinestone, bow shaped. It is silver tone. This is actually a shoe clip. It has a square shaped clear rhinestone in the center. And this is going to be number five. Next, we have a necklace that is beaded and blue faceted Aurora Borealis crystals. This is not marked. And this necklace is a single strand. There's the closure. And this is going to be number six. We have a coffee themed brooch. It is enamel. It is a silver tone, brass tone, and copper tone metal. There's a cup of coffee or tea with a heart on the cup. 
It is enamel work, and that is number seven. Next, we have this watermelon colored crystal. It's in layers. Nice little flower. There's the back. It's a gold tone metal. Layered discs. They are crystal. And that is number eight. Here we have a gloach enamel leaf. You can see the lines under the enameling. It is a gold to metal. And that is number nine. We have an angel brooch. She's holding a pink rhinestone star. She has green rhinestone eyes, an aurora borealis rhinestones on her dress and in her hair. Oh, she is marked Milo. And this angel brooch is going to be number 10. Here we have a puffed heart brooch with Aurora Borealis crystal rhinestones. Here's the back. And this heart is going to be number 11. Here we have another angel got a moonstone type glow bead in her or cabochon in her face some star charms she is unmarked oops and she is going to be number 12 Next up, we have a music theme brooch. See a saxophone, keyboard, guitar, music notes, silver tone. It is marked AJC. And I keep dropping everything. <laughs> and this is going to be number 13. We have a small brooch. It's got a clear rhinestone center surrounded by faux pearls. It's got a nice glimmer. It is gold tone in color. And this one is going to be number 14. Here we have a bird brooch. These different colors, clear rhinestone in his eye and on his belly. It is gold to metal. And this bird is going to be number 15. And we have a rhinestone flower burst brooch. It's got clear crystal rhinestones. There's the back. Do not see any markings on it. And this flower brooch is going to be number 16. Uh, I actually see some missing rhinestones in that, so we're going to take that one out. Next up, 
We have this frog. He's sitting on a heart. It says, kiss me. He is marked on the back. Looks like Easter Unlimited. It's a cute little frog. And he is going to be number 17. Next up, we have a polished ameth amethyst pendant. See, it's a little clear up the top and gets deeper in color. This amethyst pendant is going to be number 18. Here we have a handcrafted xylophone brooch. It is made out of wood, two green beads. And this does look to be handcrafted. This is going to be number 19. Next up, this is in a bag. We have a pair of earrings. They are pink moon glow beads with Aurora Borealis crystal in the center. They are clip-on earrings. And this pair of earrings is going to be number 20. Next, we have a guitar brooch. It is gold tone metal, clear rhinestones, and black enamel. There's the back. And this guitar brooch is going to be number 21. another brooch. This has a yellow center cabochon. It is a gold tone metal. Here's the back. And this brooch is going to be number 22. Of an engagement ring brooch. It has a clear, I believe that is Lucite faux diamond on it. It is gold tone metal. It's large in size. There's the closure. And this brooch is going to be number 23. Here we have a round, double round brooch. We have pink rhinestones and clear rhinestones. Gold tone metal. There's the back. This brooch is going to be number 24. We have a small enamel flower. It's yellow enamel petals, green enamel leaves. There's a little full pearl in the one leaf. Gold tone metal. And this flower brooch is going to be number 25. We have a leaf wreath brooch. It is gold tone and silver tone metal. It is marked on the back and is Sarah Coventry. The leaf wreath, the leaf wreath brooch is going to be number 26. Here 
Here we have another angel brooch. It is enamel and rhinestone, clear rhinestones. See a blue, green, and orangey red color enameling. It is gold tail metal. And this angel brooch is going to be number 27. We have a puffed harp pendant. It's like green square and triangle shaped rhinestones in it, surrounded by clear rhinestones. It's a nice sparkle. It is a silver tone metal. The stones are open in the back don't have a foil coating. And this puff tarp pendant is going to be number 28. Next, we have an art glass pendant. It is red center, then white, then blue, and white petals on a black background, silver tone, metal. It is art glass. And this pendant is going to be number 29. Some stuck together. Here we have Tasmanian Devil pendant. Looks to be like a pewter metal. A little bit of enameling on his pants. He is Mark's pewter. Looks like Warner Brothers. And this Tasmanian Devil pendant is going to be number 30. Again, these are all $5 each. All the information is listed in the description area of this video. Here we have a rose brooch. Does have oh, I dropped it again. Clear rhinestones. Silver tone metal. It is marked. It looks like MTA. This rose brooch is going to be number 31. Here we have a bar brooch. Clear rhinestone in the center, surrounded by full pearls. Gold tone metal. It is 1928 brand. I could tell by the design on the back. This is a nice Victorian style bar brooch. And this brooch is going to be number 32. Next, we have a star brooch. It has red and green rhinestones in it. Silver tone metal and a little wire work. Here's the back. And this brooch is going to be number 33. Next, we have this fish brooch. Gold tone metal. It's a rhinestone eye. See red, orange, green, and blue enameling on his fins. He is open. Some open work there. It is gold tone in color. And this fish is going to be number 34. Next, we have a Hard Rock Cafe Double Guitars Brooch. Says 1999, Orlando, Florida. 
opening year. It has nice cloisonne enameling on it. it. Has Hard Rock Cafe on the back. And this Hard Rock Cafe brooch is going to be number 35. Next, we have a grape cluster brooch, gold tone metal, purple enameling on the leaves, full pearls. Here's the back. And this brooch is going to be number 36. We have another flower. Has some red rhinestones, some white and green enamel. There is a little wear on the enamel on this one. It's kind of figural. There's the back. And this brooch is going to be number 37. Then we have a moon. Looks like it's Faux abalone shell. There is rhinestones along the moon and rhinestone star. It is a silver tone metal. And this moon brooch is going to be number 38. Next, we have a small all-seeing eye pendant. This is going to be hard. It is a glass center, gold tone around the edge. It is double-sided. And this eye pendant is going to be number 39. Next, we have the stick pin. It has a floral design on it. Kind of a reflective metal in the background. All surrounded by faux pearls. It is double-sided. And the stick pin is going to be number 40. Here we have a lion pendant. It's like a horoscope, zodiac, Leo the lion. Yes, it is marked on the back, Leo. It has July through August. It is a gold tone metal. And this Leo pendant is going to be number 41. Avon box and inside the box is a heart-shaped watch looks like mother of pearl possibly faux mother of pearl in the background it says quartz it's gold tone metal with a gold tone chain doesn't appear to be working. It may need a new battery. And this Avon watch is watch pendant necklace is going to be number 42. Next we have a butterfly brooch. It has faux pearl wings and clear rhinestones. It is gold tone metal and this butterfly brooch is going to be number 43. Getting there. Let's get this big thing out of here. Next up we have a large necklace. 
looks possibly like a carved bone material. There are elephants and a bunch of different beads. There's a heart-shaped bead, diamond-shaped, round, balls, clusters, more elephants. elephants on it. Looks pretty long. You can get it all in. There's the closure on it. And this carved elephant necklace is going to be number 44. Next up, we have another brooch. Uh, it, it looks to be jade and pearl. I do believe that is a genuine pearl. It is gold tone, but I do see a little wear on the gold tone finish. There's the back side. And this jade and pearl brooch is going to be number 45. Next, we have another art glass pendant. It has Millefori in it. Nice art glass. Gold tone metal uh, hook. Possibly Murano. Beautiful, nice art glass pendant. And this pendant is going to be number 46. Here we have a double heart brooch. One heart is gold tone and the other one is silver tone. There's the back, it is marked something. Uh, bear with me one moment while I check. It is marked Dane Crafts. And this double heart brooch is going to be number 47. Next, we have another crystal, Roar Borealis, in clear rhinestone, cluster brooch, looks like a star shape, arrow pointed. The middle ones are capped with rhinestones. It is a silver tone metal. And this brooch is going to be number 48. Next, we have an angel brooch. It is copper and a bronze color and silver tone metal. Her legs are segmented, so they dangle. She's holding a little bead flower in the center. She has copper wire hair. There's the back. And this brooch is going to be number 49. Next, we have a clear crystal cross necklace. It is clear. Silver tone top. And this cross pendant is going to be number 50. Here we have a swan pendant. I mean, this is a brooch. Has a pink rhinestone eye and clear crystal rhinestone wings. Don't know if it's picking a Definitely has a lot of bling to it. I don't know if the camera's picking that up or not. It is a gold tone metal. There's the back. And this swan brooch, if I could hold it. <laughs> swan brooch is going to be number 51.
Next, we have another guitar brooch. It is a silver tone metal, clear rhinestones, and black enamel. Here's the back. And this guitar brooch is going to be number 52. Here's another possibly handcrafted one. Looks like a fun lizard. His tongue's hanging out. His big eyes and rhin clear rhinestones down his back. There's a back black softer type plastic material, possibly clay. And this lizard is going to be number 53. another one in a bag. Let's see what's in there. Oh, this is a brooch and earring set. There's the brooch. It's a silver tone metal. There's the back. And then we have two leaf matching clip-on earrings. This set with the brooch and the earrings is going to be number 54. We have this puffy flower brooch. Got a Aurora Borealis crystal rhinestone in the center. It is layered. Silver tone metal. There's the back. It's rad, rather large, bigger than my hand. And this flower brooch is going to be number 55. Next we have a strawberry brooch. Nice plump strawberry. It is silver tone in color. There's the back. It is marked Sarah Coventry. Nice large size. And the strawberry brooch is going to be number 56. Then we have a musical instrument brooch. Looks like a lute has pink rhinestones, cream color enameling, and porcelain flowers. Gold tone color metal. Oh, there's that design. So this is a 1928 brand brooch. And this Brooch is going to be number 57. Another brooch. We have gold color rhinestones, round circle. Open the camera's picking up the color. There are goldish color rhinestones. Gold tone metal. And this round circle brooch is going to be number 58. We have a pewter brooch. Looks like tribal men and women. This is marked Alice Seeley on the back. It is pewter. And this tribal brooch is going to be number 59. We are almost done. Next we have a white enamel brooch. Nice flower. Actually it's cream colored with a white stem and leaf. Gold tone metal closure. It's like a plastic type material. 
And this flower brooch is going to be number 60. Here we have a gold tone leaf brooch. The little spiral vine and a genuine cultured pearl. There's the back. And this brooch is going to be number 61. Well, here is a bracelet, silver tone, segmented, clear rhinestones. It's got some open work on it. There's the closure. Back side. Do not see any names on there. <clears throat> this bracelet is going to be number 62. Here we have a cloisonne enamel butterfly. Gold to metal. Back. And this butterfly is going to be number 64. Nice bird brooch. Clear paved rhinestones all throughout its wings and body, and a red rhinestone eye, gold till metal, and this bird brooch is going to be number 65. And we have another butterfly brooch. This is like a thin pressed metal type material. Pretty colors in its wings, nice large size. This butterfly brooch is going to be number 66. Here we have a cloisonne enamel owl pendant. Got red and blue and green, little peach type color, gold tone metal. There is his back. And this owl pendant is going to be number sixty-seven. Here we have another bird. These clear rhinestones, brown and tan enameling, nice crest on his head. He's holding a branch. Gold tail metal. And this bird brooch is going to be number 68. Okay, next we have this. Uh, this is a scarf clip. This is marked West Germany. It's got like an open tone, open work pattern on it. It's a little puffed. Some kind of white material underneath. The scarf clip is going to be number 69. Ooh, another butterfly. This is gold till metal with genuine shell carved wings. Let me close it up. We don't get poked. There's the back side. Get in front, and this butterfly brooch is going to be number 70.
We have an apple brooch, the slice taken out, got a gold and green enameling, clear rhinestones, back side. This apple brooch is going to be number 71. We have a rhinestone heart bar brooch. It's like a ribbon tied in a knot, well, tied in a heart shape. Clear rhinestones all throughout it. Gold tone metal. It is marked, looks to be marked PD, which is Pacific, uh, oh my, Premier Designs. Design Premier Designs. There it is again. And this heart brooch is going to be number 73. Looks like we got two more left. Here we have a martini glass. It has a fruit on the edge. Two straws. Red, green, and blue enamel with clear rhinestones. Gold tone metal. This drink glass brooch is going to be number 74. And last. We have another ribbon tied into a knot, kind of heart-shaped, gold tone, clear rhinestones. It is marked on the back. Let's see that. It is signed Capri. This Capri ribbon brooch with clear rhinestones is going to be number 75. And last item, might as well do the box. This is a dovetail cedar wood lined cigar box. It used to, oh, I hear something else inside. Oh, I missed one. Oh, I missed two. Oh. Okay, we're not done yet. Here we have square shaped purple and clear rhinestone bar. This silver tone metal. There's the back. They are open backed. And this rhinestone bar is going to be number 76. And the very last is this ladybug brooch. It is silver tone metal. Looks like a frosted white material. Wings and clear rhinestones. And it is signed Avon. This Avon ladybug brooch is going to be Number 77. Now, the back to the box. The box is Dovetail Cedarwood Cigar Box. It used to hold, it held 55 cent cigars. It has, does have a little bit of dings on it. Nice metal straps. Handles on the side. Dovetailed. We have some brass on the front. It does lock, however, it does not have the key with it. There's the side, legs, and the back. There's the bottom with all the information. So 
is fact number 435, First District of PA, factory number 435. And this box is going to be $20. And that is the last, um, that will be number 78 for $20. Again, it is cedar lined on the inside. And that is everything for the sale. Again, if you see anything you liked, all the items other than the box are $5 each. Uh, just write sold in the item number down the bottom and follow the instructions in the description of this video above. We will be having another pop-up sale. The next sale will be vintage and collectible animal figurines. That is going to be on Wednesday, June 23rd at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you're interested in some vintage and collectible animal figurines, be sure to join us Wednesday, June 23rd at 5 p.m. Hope to see you all there. Have a great day.